Hey guys, how are you today? Alright, this month uh, in the My Year 2017 Facebook group, our prompt is crayons, pencils, and markers. And in case you didn't know that already. Um, and if you're not sure what the My Year 2017 group in Facebook is, it's a year-long free art journaling program um, with prompts and t teachers and hints and tips and a really great commu sharing community. Um, it's a fabulous group. If you want more information on how to join, the link's in the description below. Um, we're focusing, like I said, with the prompt um, this month is markers, crayons, and pencils. So I'm going to just bring you a quick um, idea. Okay, this is a dollar store drawing pad. It's nothing fancy. <clears throat> the inspiration photos are from the Inspire Me photo album in the My Year 2017 Facebook group. If you want a copy of the photo, you have to be a member of the group. I'm sorry. Um, but the tips and tricks I'm going to show you should work with any inspiration photo. So I'm going to actually get out my clipboard so I can stand it up off camera. All right. Now this is a Koinor. Hold on. Geoconda drawing set. Um, this is the set that has um, it has there's a couple of different sets of these and I this is the art set. This one has um, lots of different kinds of pencils including graphite and charcoal, um, some um, colored charcoal pencils and um, charcoal and graphite sticks, along with a blending stump and a kneaded eraser. Um, this is a really great drawing set, um, and I want to show you some of the things you can do with just just pencils. Um, no paint. I know, shocking, no paint. I need my eraser a little bit. Um, the blending stump is invaluable, and I love it when they're dirty like that. I know a lot of people like, like clean them. I love it when you've got all that goodness on the end of there. It's great for blending first thing you should do when you get a set like this is swatch your pencils just like you would your paint so that you know um, how dark the leads are and I'm just reading and I really should have my reading glasses on for this we're gonna do the flower just because I think it's the easier of some of the images that we've got over in the group and I think I'm gonna start with the 2B, standard 2B Am I or the one? Let's just let's find out. So that's the number one. This is the number two. This is the See, they're different, slightly different colors, and they're also different softnesses, so some of them blend easier than others. I do think we want to start with a two, so we're going to start with a number two. And I am going to sketch the flower shape that I see. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There you go. So I'm just sketching out the basic shapes that I see. I'm not worried too much if there's extra lines. We are working in pencil. So that means that you'll be able to do some erasing. Following the shapes around, looking at the shapes of the flower in the inspiration photo. And, you know, don't worry so much if your flower doesn't turn out exactly like the inspiration photo. I can already tell you mine's not going to be exactly. <laughs> it's, it's already a little bit different. But this is pencil. I mean, you know, you can always make new lines and do some erasing. Do Use a light touch. Just like I tell students if I'm teaching them painting, use a light touch. No digging any holes to china with your pencil. So 
So again, I'm just following the shapes around. So that's the basic shape that we've got going on, right? So we're going to go a little darker. So this is the 4B. And we'll start firming up some lines. And also we'll start blending. Remember, my blending stump is dirty, so... And, you know, if you get too much of something going on... This is pencil. One of the joys of working in just pencil, you can erase things. I like to suggest lines rather than leave them definite and I like my lines to be loose and sketchy. Um, that's how I prefer to do things. I am not one for trying to do it too realistically so by all means if you like something more realistic do that. Do what makes you happy. And you could do this with a number two pencil and just um, start out with a light touch and then just press heavier on your paper. stick my hand in something somewhere that shouldn't be happens every time
then we're going to do some more blending. And you just keep adding layers like that. Now we're going to switch to the 6B. See how much darker that is than the graphite? And these are just basically different kinds of pencils. Some are graphite, some are charcoal, but they're just pencils. So I want you guys to use them. I don't want you to be scared to use them and practice with them and just try You can make one drawing like this and then if you really like it, you can scan it into your computer or make photocopies of it and use it in collage and other work of yours. Turn it into stickers to put in your journal. And you can just keep going like this. And this is, what color is this one? This is the number two. I'm not going to probably use all of them. I'm going to just keep going until I'm satisfied. Which is pretty soon. I'm kind of liking where it's going, so... And I'm doing this in real time for you guys because I just want you to see, I want to prove to you that you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Don't be afraid if you have, especially if you have a set like this to get in here. This one has the white and it has um, brown tones. It's nice to get in here with some of those and just add a little something. Sometimes it's really subtle, but it adds a lot. So there you go. That's just a really quick, simple, easy flower. So I want you guys to try, break out your pencils, 
just a number two. You don't need anything fancy. If you are going to buy something like this, I do recommend this particular set. It has a nice variety of drawing implements in it, including the blending stump and the kneaded eraser. And I do think it had a, um, I want to say it had a um, pencil sharpener too, but I don't remember. Um, you can get it at Michael's and you can get them for 40% off. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to do the most important thing besides checking out the description below for the links to how to join the Facebook group, my year 2017, how to join my other group, how to send me happy mail. If you want to support my channel, the link to my Etsy shop where you can do that and all of that stuff in the description below. Besides all of that, I want you to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.